What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are doing something new. We are trying to do things around Orlando. We've been here for a year. So we're trying to like see what Orlando has to offer. Yeah, and instead of sitting around our apartment in between our trips, we decided to venture out and try something a little bit dangerous today. I don't know, is this dangerous? I think it's one of the most Florida things you can do. It's very much like Florida man, I feel like. Today, we are heading out on an airboat tour into the swamps of Florida to find some alligators, maybe some snakes. I have never done anything like this before. Fane, I think you've done it back when you were in school, maybe? Yeah. It is a smaller airboat as well, so that should be pretty nice and won't be as crowded. So let's be like the young guy on TikTok looking for the 20-foot anaconda. He's like, yoink. Oh my gosh, the guy that's like at night going yeah. into the, that is terrifying. So this has two different fans in it. It's a big fan, shallow boat. Pretty cool, right? Boarding day. Is this your fit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Our spirit of the seas, <laughs> or spirit of the swamp airboat. So they also do night tours. I don't know how they do it. Maybe they go out and have like flashlights and you can see like the little specks on the water from the eyes. That would be freaky and I would absolutely do it. Really? Yeah. I thought we wouldn't do it. No, I would do it. It'd be freaky and kind of scary, but I would do it. But what did you think about your first airboat experience? I loved that so much more than I thought it was going to. Really? Honestly. It was kind of freaky at first, I will say, especially when we went into like the solid looking areas. Oh, because you weren't expecting, you are expecting to stay in the water. So that kind of scared me a little bit. It was so just like beautiful, especially when we got out into the open area. So much more wildlife than just gators. So take two. Since we didn't see any gators really on the swamp yesterday at the airboat tour, we're here at Gatorland. We're going full Florida today. This is the most Florida that we've been since we've moved to Florida. I've never been here, but this parking lot is full and it's only 11 a.m. We got like the premium passes too, so we can like do extra things while we're here. I never thought I would be here, to be honest with you. I've always heard about it. I've seen like the signs, but I've never thought I will be getting greeted from Gatorland. All right, Laura, strike a pose. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> oh, you're a UF fan? Oh, is that what that is? So it looks like they have a huge gator mouth outside of the, the entryway. It's also kind of funny because it's through traffic only and now it's stopped to take photos, but that's what everyone's doing. Like, what's the point of having it if you don't want people to take photos? That doesn't make any sense. I feel like that's a joke. That looks like a lot of fun. I want to do that. That looks like a lot of fun. Mud slinging, gator jumping, pond crushing fun. I kind of want to see if we can do that. Look how much fun Barbara's having in the front. I didn't know this was an option, but we did. We actually signed up for the monster truck that we just showed you guys. <laughs> so we got our bracelets for the train and Laura is really happy for some reason. We get to go meet a gator and sit on its back. I didn't know that was a thing. Picture. Did you know that was part of the ticket? I knew we got a picture, but I didn't know that we got to do that with it. And then we get to go get gator chow, which Fane yesterday thought I meant we get like fried gator to eat. No, we get to feed the gators. Okay. I'm so excited. I wasn't expected to spend a full day here, but let's go see what's up. So if you didn't know, Gatorland, it's family owned and operated since 1949. Do you see all the gators that are over there? This is way more than we saw. So I think we've, we've pretty much hit our quota. We can go now. Yeah. <laughs> we got our money's worth. And they're just chilling. Max and relaxing all cool. These are the ones I thought we were gonna see yesterday in the swamp. These ones are freaking huge. I know it doesn't really do it like justice with the camera, but they're a lot bigger. This is about probably like a 15 footer, 20 footer. Are you in shock? <laughs> I mean, look at this one sunbathing. You know how quickly those could Kill you. Can you imagine if Central Florida got like hit with a bad hurricane and everything flooded and then all these gators got out? We'd be screwed. So it looks like you can feed them sardines and they're pretty much jumping for the sardine right now. Should we go get a fishing pole? Yes. That one looks like it has kind of like lipstick on. Look at the bird just like chilling with them. All right, Laura, which one are we gonna do? We're gonna do this pit, you can do this pit, or you can go to the bigger ones over there. I'm gonna do this one. So I have some fish right here. Laura's gonna feed the gators. 
<laughs> that was quick. That was so fast. All right, loading up another one. Oh! There you go. All right. All right, Fane's turn. We are feeding the older gators, so like three to four years old. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. Wash those nasty hands. Now where are we off to? We have this very special appointment on a like monster truck. We have to get there 15 minutes early, so we have to make our way over there. Jeez, that big gator, I just missed it, but that, that was a huge gator that just jumped in the water. That's Whoa. at least a 20 footer. This is why we don't get in lakes in Florida. Moving here, I just assume that every body of water that I see has a gator in it, at least one. Even a big puddle. Just Seriously. Don't, don't touch it. They even have a water park here, a little splash pad area. Dang, Gatorland's actually built out. <laughs> Legit. This place is so much bigger than I ever thought it was. It's Absolutely like an actual park. massive. I thought it was just like a pond full of gators, but no, it's like a whole like adventure park, I guess. It has rides. They even have a zip line. I think it goes over like a gator pit or something like that. Yeah. But this is where we're headed, the stomping gator. Dang, Laura, we could've just came over here and did an airboat tour. What? Dang. We have everything here. It's like Disney World for gators. The mission for this, it's $15 a person. I never thought they would have like a whole convenience store full of stuff and not everything is gators. I literally see some stickers and t-shirts that I think are really cute. <laughs> trying not to go look at them. Oh dang, we got like a safety video and everything to watch. Here we go. Getting on the swamp buggy. This kind of reminds me of um, the safari ride at Disney. Yes, but much bumpier, I think. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Laura, hang on to your britches. I need like a bar here. <laughs> yeah. Yo, we got Swampland, and there's eight there's alligators in here. Literally going in the water right now. And there's gators moving out of the way. Do you want some moonshine? Some white lightning? I think I can also get that at like Publix. You saw a huge croc at Gatorland? Maybe it's because I'm from Georgia. I'm her her jokes are a lot better than Jungle Cruise at Disney. Yo, do you remember these? Scratch and Sniff stickers? I didn't know they still existed. That's a classic. They have spaghetti and ham. Oh, let's get these ones for the cruises. Oh snap, I haven't seen one of these toys in forever either. Yo, what did you think about that? <laughs> Please tell me, like that, hold on, I'm sorry, I know I asked you, but it brought me back to like college years because I was in about Austin, we did like a lot of back, like back country stuff. I had a lot of fun. That was awesome. Yeah. And I think it was like 15 bucks a person. That was worth it. I wish it was a little bit long because it was a lot of fun yeah. and there was a great commentary and all that, but like, yo, that was, <laughs> it just bought back in the, the, the country. Yeah, me, it was I, pretty cool. Honestly, it could have been a little rougher. That's what she said. <laughs> Thank you. I think for what it was and for the price, it was perfect. Highly recommend. You I want to do it again. Do it. I, I want to do it again. <laughs> you know who I want to bring here? Who? Sir Kyle Palo. Because I feel okay. like he would love that. If you're going to do one thing when you come here, go do the Stompin' Gator off-road adventure. Where do you want to go now? Um, I know there's like an up close encounter show. Yeah, that's on the other side. Okay, we just need to see like what time it is. Oh, we got one on the move over here. Do you think they're just sitting here staring at us thinking like, I could f you up right now? I know, I'm gonna f them up if I ever get out of here. <laughs> Guys, if you are enjoying this video and all our other videos and wanna see us what we get into in Japan, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button. Give us a seven day free trial. If you don't like us after seven days, kick us to the curb. Just give us a chance. But if you really like us, you can hit that join button down below for a few extra perks, either on YouTube or we also have a link down below to our Patreon whichever you prefer. They even have crocodiles here. Look at that thing over there. That's a salt water if I have ever seen one in person because I've never have. Salt water taffy? Yep, yeah, I was right. Crocs. I like how they're going like this. Like living their best life. <laughs> but no, they're all just like floating and enjoying life. 
I love that I can see them. Oh, wow. He's making a move. Wow. Look at those teeth. Look at this big boy over here. Holy crap. What's up, big boy? Come over here, big boy. This is like just the perfect bit of country, country that I needed. Not like too much country, just a little bit, like just a little taste to remind me of home. I've enjoyed exploring our homeland of Florida <laughs> with you this weekend. Now let's go to Japan. <laughs> I just want to show you guys this before you talk about captivity and stuff like that. Their ongoing mission is to protect, conserve, and educate in an effort to help human populations coexist with alligators and crocodiles all over the world. So yeah, Gatorland keeps a lot of crocodiles and stuff in captivity but at the same time, they're help, trying to help repopulate and educate people about gators. Because one fun fact that we learned when we were on the airboat tour, they have people that go out in the swamps and look for nests and find eggs and stuff like that. And then they take them and sell them off for like 50 a pop. So our driver yesterday was saying that there's less and less gators in the wild, also with housing development. Pretty much these things are getting poached when they're very young and sold for meat and other things. So they're just trying to save the world. They keep them safe. Ooh, they have a white albino gator. Where is it? The sign said it's pointed this way, so we can check it out after the train. Okay, that'd be cool because those are like extremely rare. Do you see these ancient ruins from a time long, long time ago? Look at these social distancing markers from a long time. I did notice those. Literally like a thing of the past or just like a part of history. We're making history. I knew you were gonna say that. An opportunity opened up for us to be on it, to be a part of history. Yeah, I don't know if we showed you guys this yet, but this is the Gatorland map where there's like just so much stuff to do. Right now we are right dead center where that house is, but there's all of this. There's a show right there where you can like ride alligators, which is weird, but hey, this is where we fed them earlier. I don't know, this is, crazy. We, we haven't even explored the whole thing yet. No, there's so much to do. And I think there's other types of animals. Like I see something about panthers and giant tortoises. Just look at this list of things that there are to do here. Bobcat by you, Swamp Walt, and in the gift shop. There's an old owl, Ohio. All aboard the train. I feel like I'm in Six Flags right now. Oh wow, they even have like cows and bulls and I think some donkeys in the background. It's like every corner we take, it's like surprise. They have some kiwis right here. If you want, you can actually hand feed gators. There's some meat in there, you guys can see. And the gators are just waiting. I don't know if I'll ever do that, but like, it's an option. Do you want to feed some gators? I literally, when I said hand feeding, I was thinking like literally walking up and like, like letting them eat it from your hand. <laughs> yeah, so you can literally just walk down there. There's one on the ground over there, or floor. I don't know, I might hand feed a gator. It doesn't seem too bad, but yeah, I'd rather just like put it in his mouth instead of like tossing at it. It's all right, but it's also like another like few bucks that you have to pay. Now we're headed to the alligator orgy. <laughs> Daily life of travel spree over here. <laughs> There's a zip line and it goes over this marsh with all these alligators. If you ever want to do a zip line over alligators, this is the place to come. Yeah, Laura, with a lot of these like alligators just chilling, staring at all the people as they walk by, I'm getting a, a major, 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 I wish a nigga would vibe. They're plotting. <laughs> They're absolutely plotting. Like, slip one time and see what happens. It's like, I don't care if you're giving me this wonderful pond and safety and food, I could still mess you up. Next up Alli is the alligator North show. North don't know what that entails, but hopefully something yeah. fun. The legend of the swamp show. Also, the host comes it looks like Trev. Like Trev and Chow's Trev? Yeah. I guess a little bit, yeah. Oh, a little bit, yeah, I can see it. If this isn't the most Florida thing that we've ever done, <laughs> we're in an arena waiting for people to wrestle alligators. I personally think we've hit our peak. This was not on our bingo card this year. It's our peak in life right now. Your boy is in the water right now with some alligators. I'm not any help anymore. Not from you, at least. Audience, I need some help. This is a big old alligator. Three, two, one. Life with this. I'm trying to get her to spin around. Hey, like that. So why I want her to do this is because she's really big. Alright, folks, we gotta take them out here and tell us all the way to but I'll get a ring and I got started. Oh my gosh. So with this show, it's entertainment and they have a lot of like gators and stuff for fun, but they also teach you 
like life or lifelong tips of like how to interact with gators. So in the wild, if you ever encounter one, you know what to do. It's like infotainment. And now he has his fingers in his in the alligator's mouth. That was a cute little show. Do you want to go meet a gator? Not particularly, honestly. Everything today has been really, really cool, and I've enjoyed it. But I really don't. I don't love like the handling of the gators like that for like entertainment and just like watching him like pull the tail, like pull him by the tail like out of the water and just like sit on him like, I don't know. For me it felt a little icky. I honestly thought it was kind of cool but I don't do, the sitting I don't like, I don't really care for it. I like the efforts that they're doing, the conservation area and all that but like this is like a line to uh, meet the gator, sit on the gator, take a photo with the gator. And right now, they're actually, for safety reasons, they're taping the gator's mouth shut so when people sit on it, they can take photos. Yeah, even though we can't, we have tickets for it because it came with our package. I don't want to do that. Ooh, look at that party animal. Do you want to have your birthday here? You can do your birthday party. It's coming up. 30th birthday, Gatorland, baby. What is an excursion out with Laura without seeing some cats? Other day, how do you find a cat at a gator facility? Oh, cat back. There's a little kitty right here, a little bobcat kitty. From here, you can see his face. Can't see in the reflections. Oh, look, there it is. There's the bobcat right there in the center frame. This one down here is actually an African servo, which are these two things right here. I just want to cuddle with it. You want me to buy your bobcat too? Yeah. So here are some albino alligators right here. I don't know if I've ever seen one in public or in private. No. I guess in real in, life. In real life, yeah. <laughs> and if you guys want to read about albino alligators, you can pause the screen and read that. I wonder what special captivity you have to do for that, because obviously they probably burn really easily. I mean, you could just ask me. I'm really white, too. <laughs> How are you surviving in 2024? I'm not. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry, so let's get a snack before we head out. And did you see this? They have walking tacos and Frito pie. I saw that as pie. soon as we stepped yeah. into the park. I haven't had one of Frito pie in so long. I love a good Frito pie. I've been eating that since I was a kid. Literally secured the bag. I got the walking taco. Laura got the Frito pie. I haven't had this since like grade school. Here's the goodness that's inside right here. Mine just looks like cheese. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Come on. Ikatakimasu. How do you say it? Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Not bad. It's literally like, if I had this after swimming at a pool for all day or in the morning, this was slab. This is good junk food, I guess you can say. Yeah, very much junk food. I also got this blueberry cider, which is, I've never had before, but it looks really good. I think today was a good day. It was a fun Sunday, fun day, nice day. I would recommend Gatorland. I thought it was gonna be a joke, honestly. Like it's Florida, it's Gatorland, but they actually put like this quality here. And I wouldn't like drive down anywhere to like specifically go here because obviously you have the park, Disney or Universal. But like if you just wanna have a chill Sunday, don't wanna spend so much money in the parks, wanna not be around crowds, but have a good time. I think Gatorland's a good choice. If you're local or if you're here for other reasons and you have a free day, I would say come check it out. I can see us coming back here. Just to, just to hang out, just to chill. You guys want to know a story of how I hooked, line, and sinker Laura into this relationship? One day, I was talking to her best friend Jackie and we were at work just shooting the shit. And she said, I have this friend that you want to meet. And I was like, cool, I'll meet her too. And we were going to Top Golf, right? That's how we first met, Top Golf. I told her like shots, so Laura bought a bag of tequila shots to show off, right? Little personal one. And Jackie told me that one of Laura's favorite foods is pizza and hot dogs. So when I met her, I said, hi, my name is Fane, and I got the best hot dog in town. And ever since then, Laura's been my, my what girlfriend. What are you talking about? This is literally a made up story. I told her I had a good Why hot dog. Why are you lying? I told her I had a good hot dog, good sausage, and she was like, <laughs> Yeah, son. You are the weirdest person. This is fake news right here. <laughs> Why would you pull it from the bottom and do this? <laughs> Why would you grab it and pull it up? I didn't think it was gonna come off that easy. You can tell that she's not good at handling hot dogs, but she loves the hot dog. You are done. <laughs> Straight to you just jail. Ruined, you just ruined my corn dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what I like about Gatorland? It's not really the gators. The friends we made along the way. It's more just like that it's normal people. Like I'm not going to Disney and people didn't spend tens of thousands of dollars to have a, a good time at the quote unquote happiest place on earth. Just like normal people on a normal Sunday. Everyone was very relaxed here and it didn't feel rushed. And I didn't feel like I was going to get run over. It was just like normal people just hanging out. As we said earlier, definitely recommend Gatorland. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, 
video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Like this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Florida man and woman tour of Orlando. We had a nice little Florida weekend. I enjoyed it. Very chill, very chill. Finally explored Florida after a year of living here. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, Travel Squad.